Hello guys, welcome to Product Tips YouTube channel. My name is Pranay and today in this video we are going to see how you can add a progress bar or progress indicator in your blog post or WordPress website. So as you can see, uh, this is my blog and you can see if I scroll down, you can see the green bar showing up, you can see the progressing so how you can add in your blog so there is two method so first method is that i have a link uh, the code html and javascript code i will put the link in the description if i have added same code in my blog so i am going to show you how you can add so this is my second blog bearblogging.com and you can see if I scroll this blog, uh, blog post, this uh, nothing showing up here. So I am going to add step by step. So I am using generate press theme as you can see here, generate press, and with the generate press premium plugin, you can see here. So this uh, plugin uh, or this theme give a uh, option to add custom hooks you can add uh, CSS HTML or PHP hooks so you need to go in appearance then click elements if you are using generate press then you can use this method okay by the way I am going to also show you the second method uh, via plugin so first of all uh, now click on elements if you are using generate press then uh, now click add new element then select, uh, choose then you have to select hook and now click create you have to give the name here so I am going to give here in progress bar okay and what need to do you can see here uh, just uh, remove this h2 tag from here and copy this uh, div tags okay this uh, uh, for line of code just copy and paste it here okay where you gonna hook the this code so there is a various section you can see we are going to add this on the header section okay and by the way if you are using a uh, generate press theme then you can visit the generate press official website search via generate press hook image okay and the first link you have to click on and scroll down you will get the single post hook uh, visual guide so we are going to add after the navigation link you can see here this is the general after header hook generate after header hook where we are gonna add generate after header this one okay then click on display views select and search here post okay. and all post then click on publish add a new element by clicking here and choose hook and create then give progress bar css Okay, now again visit the W3SQL link and select the style select all ok and paste and by the way we are going to remove some uh, CSS code here from uh, suppose the content because we are not using any content just remove it progress bar this one will need and progress container also need and you need to also remove the header h2 uh, css code okay and then okay and you also need to remove the body now it's okay we need header progress bar container progress bar and the progress bar container 
okay again uh, this time you need to select WP head and then our display rule choose post then all post okay then click on publish you need to clean the cache okay now you can see the progress bar here but it not working because we also need to add the javascript code so again click on new element choose hook create again visit w3 school now scroll down you will see the script just copy the whole script from here and paste it here okay and then you need to select wp footer instead of wp head because this is javascript uh, and javascript always put in footer section okay then display rules select post and all post then select on uh, click on publish again clean the cache and again open your blog post in incognito mode and refresh it now you can see the green color so we are going to add that plugin so again go to the dashboard click on plugin add new and then search progress bar So you can see this plugin catch scroll bar. You can install it. Just by click. There is a other plugin available. So just you can simply install those plugin. I'm going. To show, uh, I'm just showing an example. Now clear the cache. Find the plugin. Uh, click on setting. And you can see by default you can see the top position you can also add in the bottom section if you want front and uh, select the template condition to progress bar you can also add in the front page block page uh, we are going to add in just only single page single post you can <coughs> see you can select post if you want to add it also pages you can add by this turn tick here and click on save changes so guys now clean the cache and open in the website in a cognito mode and refresh your a blog post and you can see the progress bar So that is simple. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day.